All right, music fans, welcome back. Harmless Dave here, talking about real music in real time for real people, just like you and just like me. Steve Perry has decided to uh, give everyone a post Steve Perry birthday gift. His birthday was five days ago. He dropped a new version uh, from Traces, sketches, and alternate versions. Uh, today he brings us You Belong to Me. By the way, that's not the old uh, Doobie Brothers Carly Simon song. That is a new Steve Perry uh, composition. Uh, and I think you'll really be impressed by uh, Steve's lead vocals on the track. Uh, Again, this is the way to prove that you're a great singer. And Steve's like, okay, all right, you want to hear if I still got it? I'll just strip away all the instruments and and you can judge for yourself. Um, what's interesting with Journey in the news these days and Arnell Pineda basically saying, you know, I would just step aside and let Steve Perry back in the group. And he said this uh, repeatedly. What I find fascinating is that I was thinking, imagine if Steve Perry said, you know, why not go back and redo some of those Journey songs, much like uh, the treatment that he's giving to his own music here, to do kind of a stripped down, bare bones, acoustic version of whatever song that you can imagine, whether it's Faithfully, Open Arms, Send Her My Love, um, I'm sure uh, Steve Perry, uh, Neil Sean, and Narada Michael Walden could sit down and hash that out. What's even more fascinating is that Neil Sean brought players into Journey that I think Steve Perry would really approve of. You know, in other words, if Perry started to create again with these guys, uh, I think there'd be some real chemistry there. The fact that they don't get along with one another or there are irreconcilable differences, apparently. Um, I think the ultimate question, like so many other questions uh, that go out there, would be why? Why? Just give us the specifics as to why you wouldn't be for possibly just hanging out with these guys for two or three songs or creating something like you did on Traces to put something together that would honor the music that you made, but would certainly give it, you know, a new spin. And so anyway, um, for fans of this album Traces, these stripped down versions really illuminate uh, the songwriting because you have to write good songs to pull this off because they won't sound good if you strip them down and there's nothing to it. If it's all just layering and production, you get back to where the song originated and there's nothing there. Um, there are a lot of bands that put out these, you know, cluttered things these days that I listen to. And I go, if you boil this song down to its element, there's really nothing to it. Uh, in the case of Steve Perry, he's written some pretty strong songs. So in writing these songs, the original inspiration is always... My First Compass, Where the Songs Should Go, Alternate Versions and Sketches is exactly that. And I'm very excited to have you hear the original seeds of these songs. Uh, he's also got the um, vinyl here, or at least the, I'm sorry, the cover of what the vinyl would look like, which again is another great album cover. These album covers are worth the price of admission. You know, they're just so good. Um, and you definitely want to have one for your collection, especially if you do have a turntable, or as they like to call it these days, a vinyl player. So Steve Perry, um, he's definitely in the news along with Journey, so obviously the two things can converge and people can speculate, but if I were a betting man, I would probably bet against uh, any reunion, uh, even though Arnell Pineda wants it. And I'm sure that Neil Sean and Jonathan Cain wouldn't mind it. And uh, Randy Jackson. I know Randy and Steve are still close friends. Uh, Steve brought him into the band the first time. So again, uh, you know, the skids are greased. We'll, we'll use that bad expression. Um, if Perry were to come back to Journey, he'd have a really strong creative team behind him. 
to make the kind of music that he wants to make. And I'm sure these guys would welcome it. It would just be one of the greatest things in the history of reunions ever. So there you have it. That's my video, and I will stick to it. My name is Dave. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel. Don't forget to hit the bell for notifications. And yes, you can join over on Patreon for a measly buck a month. That's it. That's all I'm asking for. I appreciate your help. I appreciate everybody who watches the videos, and I will talk to you soon.